Then you got Colorado right. going into UCLA, who's ranked 23rd. Um, UCLA has looked like a solid defense. We'll see if Colorado has any fire underneath them, and we'll see if any of the players on their team have found the love for the game instead of the like of the game, like Dion said. Um, right. You think UCLA you're, you're will handle Colorado? Off. I would think so. Um, but you're coming off like Colorado. You've basically had now two weeks to stew on, you know, giving up a, a huge halftime lead. So I'll be interested to see if they come out firing. Uh, this UCLA defense, though, is solid. There's a reason why they've been playing as good as they've been playing. Um, and, and to be honest, this is a game where I watch Dante Moore. I want to see what the young QB can do because he's made mistakes this year. He's had good plays. He's had bad. But if I can continue to see that growth in a Chip Kelly offense next year when he's in the Big Ten and he gets to go against – the worst offenses in the world in Iowa and Minnesota and all those other crap schools out there. What can he do offensively? They'll have good defenses out there, but if he can get a couple touchdowns early on those teams and they have to come out of the defenses that they run and with the offensive firepower that those schools don't have, you know, he could become a big time player that we're talking about for years and years and years from now. There's a reason he was a five-star kid. There is a reason that every team in the, in the country wanted Dante Moore to come to them. Um, so I want to keep watching his growth and seeing where he continues to move forward and how he continues to move forward. Uh, because I don't believe that this is going to be a close game, but every single time I doubt Coach Prime, all of a sudden they, they pull off a, an upset that they're not supposed to have. 